You can't get enough of this guy. His name is Joel Schulman, Entrepreneur Shares Managing Director. Great to see you back again. Thank you. Good to be here. You know why it's great to have you back? <laughs> because you're always bullish. You're always telling me that this market is going up. Well, today... Say, say today, it again. Today it's up. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, uh, this market is just tough to predict. I mean, it, it's a very humbling market. You think just when you think you have some clear direction, the market reverses on us. And we haven't had a market like this in a long time. But I will give you a, a bit of good news or your, your, your listeners Go uh, some good news. The last time we had a, a, a December like this was 2002. That was this is now if, if markets ended today, this would be the second worst December we've had in 50 years. The worst that we've had in the 50 years was 2002, December 2002, where it was down 5.87%. And the following January, the next month, was down again another 2-3%. And as we know from 2002, December 2002 through 2007, we won't talk about 2008. But through, right. through 2002 to 2007, we had one of the strongest bull markets ever. Ah, so there is so, okay. a little, a a little, little silver lining, That's a little, a little nugget. nugget. Little, little nugget. Th this market is run by headlines. Yes. I mean, they make yeah. the headline, there are key phrases, yes. the algorithms read the headlines, yes. and the computers take over. No, I, I agree with you. How viewers hate it? Well, <laughs> I think we all hate it. But, you know, it's interesting. The same headlines when we saw in June, July, August, September, I mean, they weren't affecting the markets. The markets were going up, up, and up. And now I think the markets are just kind of waffling. I mean, they're going back and forth. And we have not seen something like this in a long time. And I think if we had clear direction um, on the China trade news, that would be a big deal. And last time I was on your show, you had a guest who was very optimistic in what was going to emerge. Um, who knows what's going to, to leak out. But if we saw some clear direction in that area and we saw some, some news earlier today that they're going to lift some tariffs. That's right. But that, yeah. that will be a breakthrough. I mean, the Fed, which previously I think was, was big news for the markets. I mean, people seem to, to feel less nervous about being able to predict the, market, the Fed rate hikes. They believe now the Fed's being transparent, which were unlike the days of Greenspan. So now that we have transparency, we're going to see, I think, less volatility on that. But we've got all these other little distractions and I think, again, three months ago, six months ago, nine months ago, these distractions were not affecting the market. I think right now, as we move towards the end of December, we're having less liquidity in the market because many of the traders are going on, on holidays. So we need some clear direction. Hopefully we'll hear something out of China that's a little bit more substantive. But the bottom line to you is, if history is any guide, this rotten December <laughs> yeah. and maybe a rotten January yeah. will eventually produce a nice bull run again. Well, I mean, that's, that's a very optimistic that, scenario. That, that's a hope. <laughs> yes. Hope and a prayer. That's right? a hope. But, but again, everything else is fine. I mean, we've got, I mean, as I've been saying on your show uh, throughout this year, we've got, you know, things are well positioned. Interest rates are low. We yeah. talked about, we talked about job, uh, job numbers. I mean, we, we predicted because, uh, because of the M&A activity, which is close to, you know, almost $5 trillion when everything's said and done, that is going to ease up on some of the, the employment issues. And it's, okay. you know, one last one, real fast. Yeah, sure. Because come January, millions of people in America yeah. will refocus their 401ks. Right. Right. They're going to say, I want more stocks, I want more yeah. bonds, or whatever. You'd be quite comfortable saying, you want more stocks. Uh, Get into more stocks. Yeah, well, I, it's much easier to make this statement, by the way, when markets are down or flat. Sure. When you look, when you look at the markets, with all the up and down, I mean, most markets are, are flat. We, our small caps have been up 10% uh, year to date, but they were previously up much higher. And I think right now, uh, markets are positioned in the U.S. to be, you know, strong growth. And I think also internationally, when we look at the international markets, uh, a lot of money, I think, can move there as well and do fine. So I think what you should not be doing if you're an individual investor is pulling out of the markets right now. If you've got cash on yeah. the sidelines, it's a great time to go back in and diversify across different markets. Go U.S., large cap, small cap, go international, do a little bit, a little bit in emerging, mar emerging markets. I think you won't go wrong. All right, Joel Schulman with advice to all of our millions of viewers. Thank, Thank you, you, Joel. Good Thanks. stuff. Thank you, sir.